good afternoon viewers and subscribers thank you for watching my video i really do not take you guys for granted so let's get right into the video i've been saying this in some of my videos and I didn't even know that other people were thinking the same way. People's National Party Member of Parliament for St. Catherine Northwest, Hugh Graham, says the crisis of violence and lawlessness now facing Jamaica is homegrown and cannot be blamed on the government alone. This is one of the first real true to hear them talk about crimes. He at least hit the root of the problem. So if not the government, then who is it? A lot of people might not agree with me, but parents need to take more blame than anyone else. You train a child the way you want him or her to grow, and he will never depart from it. Why does some children make it out of the underprivileged area and some do not? I do not want to use the word ghetto because that is a strong discriminatory word for some people, especially if they find themselves in situation beyond their control. So now, here's what Graham says. Our actions matter and they shape the world our children grow up in. Let's not be blind to the truth. We, the adults, are the architects of this reality. We expose our youths to adult themes, prematurely sexualize their innocence, and expose them to behaviors that don't align with our cultural heritage. The blame cannot solely rest on the shoulders of the government. We must look inward and recognize our part in shaping the future we are witnessing. He said in a recent post on his social media platform, prefacing his comment by saying he was unable as a representative of the people to stay silent any longer. Our beautiful nation is facing a grave crisis that transcends politics. It's about our shared responsibility for the future of Jamaica. The lack of respect for human life that we witness today is deeply distressing. We must recognize that this crisis starts within our homes, our communities, and our schools. It is a reflection of the values we instill in our children, the examples we set for them, and the environment we create for their growth. Graham, who was elected to the House of Representatives, on a PNP ticket in September 2020 is however adamant that Jamaica's transformation cannot be achieved by leg legislation alone. There has to be actions. It requires a collective effort, a unified commitment to change the narrative. Today, I beseech every Jamaican to take a stand in your homes, your neighborhoods, and your schools. Let's teach our children respect, empathy, and love. Let's protect their innocence and guide them towards a part of righteousness. In expressing hope that the country experience transformation in 20 years graham said while the journey would be no mean feat it must be taken that's the only my personal opinion that's the only way solved crime is going to be reduced it starts in the home and he went on to say by investing in our people now we sow the seeds of a brighter tomorrow imagine waking up to a jamaica where respect for life is paramount where our children thrive in an environment of positivity and hope 
I have said this in several of my videos before, and I was really thinking that because of how I was raised, I was biased in my thinking. But Graham is correct. And the politicians do not want to speak out the roots of the problems because they are afraid of losing votes. How do we tackle the problems though? It is as much a social issue as it is a criminal, criminal one. There might be nothing the politicians and the law enforcement can do with this present generation, but they can work with the parents to certainly figure out a way to improve the future generation. Because they, as I said, the has gone through the gate already and it cannot be pulled back. But the horse that's supposed to start at the finish line, something can be done to make Jamaica a better place in the future. Guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment down below.